we are making changes to the advanced payments program that supports farmers. For 2019, we are increasing the maximum loan limit for all farmers from $400,000 to $1 million. For canola farmers, we are also increasing the interest-free portion from $100,000 to $500,000. These measures will give canola producers the support they need to manage their cash flow. And it will give them the flexibility to sell their canola at the best time, at the best price. I'm pleased to also announce that together with provinces, we are extending for all farmers the agree stability enrollment deadline by two months, from April 30th to July 2nd, 2019. I will be leading a canola trade mission to Japan and South Korea in early June. And we will be working closely with the sector to identify other opportunities for trade missions in Asia as well. I will, of course, promote canola in all of my upcoming visits, including in France for a meeting of the OECD and Chile for a meeting of APEC ministers. This outreach will build on our efforts to engage other high potential countries, including the UAE, Thailand, Malaysia, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Mexico, Germany, and France. As the Minister of Agriculture said, the Canadian government stands with farming families, our farming communities, and industry. We know that this is a, a conflict that, uh, or a challenge that is not just between Canada and China, has geopolitical implications. We continue to work very, very hard on, uh, on how we move forward and in, mostly in standing up for Canadians. <laughs>